Hey gang, Brad DeMole here, and I'm back with another Random Thursdays, so let's get started. Alright, today we got the first question from jmomstrom94 saying, If I used a surf chicken head as a finger puppet, will my hand become possessed by the chicken spirit? Uh, this was a tough one. I actually did some research on this stuff, and if your name starts with a J and is four letters long, as well as your last name contains three M's and an A, an L, an S, a T, an R, and an O, and you have the number 94 after your YouTube name, then you might be in severe danger. Alrighty, so say you're eating out with a couple of friends, and they serve you a chicken. And, um, so I have a little prop here to help you guys visually. Um, so say, this is your chicken. Oh crap, what the? Why is it wet inside of this glove? Alright, so I'm not going to put my hand inside the glove because it seems to be wet inside somehow. Um, so yeah, say they serve you a chicken and you start using them as a puppet to like put on a little show for your friends or whatnot. This is what it'll do. The large intestine of the chicken will grasp your uh, wrist and it will convert you to chickenism, which is a rare disease involving you being possessed. And um, that means you'll be, you'll be, um, you'll be experiencing various balks, you, like you'll balk like a chicken at random times throughout the day, and um, you may suffer from uncontrollable insomnia, but uh, besides that, I think you're good to go. Um, yeah, so, uh, next topic. Alright, so this next question comes from RCT2Guy. He says, Brad DeMole, what is the best type of wood to use for creating a cage for my newborn? So, I came up with a few ideas for you. Um, one, you could go with this, um, I mean, you don't even have to use wood. You could just go to, like, school and, like, once everyone's done at the lunchroom, just jack a milk crate and then just, like, put it down a corner of a room and just like throw a baby in there, put a little like wo like roof on it and bungee cord it to the ground so it can't escape. That's one idea. Or you could go with this. It's a little bit more high tech. It's like a hammock, but there's a little wooden boat under this. And um, you're gonna wanna use birch wood for this. And you must have a chainsaw and you must be pretty well like suited for the wood cutting environment. And if the baby ever acts up or you're not, like, um, excited with its behavior, you can just clip off the little ropes at the top, put it in a river, and just walk off like nothing happened. That's another one. Or you could go something like this, a p ancient Pathagonian style. You could get a chrome bathtub, so the baby's really slippery and it can't escape from the, um, like, interior design. And this design also comes with eight, um machete blades. Actually, no, not machete blades. What am I saying? Um, ancient act, ancient battle axe blades. And you can just put it on the ground and um, no one will ever want to mess with the baby. And um, yeah, because it's also a trap. Like if you try to take the baby, those uh, the bottom things come up and they snatch the person who ever is trying to like steal your baby or if they're just like, you know, being a little piece of crap. But, um, yeah, so you could go with one of those three styles, or here's a little, um, or first of all, here's a picture of wood you might be needing to use for your, um, your new baby carriage, if you don't want to go with one of those ideas. But, um, here, hold on a second, I made a little paper scale model of what you can do to help you out, and, uh, here it is. Go with basically a little... Just a little box, but um, you obviously cut off some of the corners and stuff, but make a little box. The bottom face, the face that the baby will be sitting in, you're going to want to use that uh, second piece of wood that you see on the screen, the dark piece, because it's more durable. And then the sides, you can use any of the other ones, because just to make it more decorative. And um, yeah, so you can use basically any of that. And uh, so yeah, those are my four ideas for you. We'll just recap them again real quick. There's the um, the milk carton crate. Very cheap and easy. It's actually free. Um, there's the um, boat.
boat cradle, um, that will take some time, and you have to be a really good uh, woodworker, um, if you catch my drift. Um, next is the Pathagonian, which I already explained, and I don't really feel like explaining it again. And then there's all the wood you might need if you just want to use it, make a basic square one. So um, that's, out, that's about it for this topic. So uh, thanks for the questions, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys for the comments and the ideas for these random Thursdays. I really like doing these. These are really fun. Pretty fun, easy to make. Um, so yeah, keep the comments coming for next Thursday because I need topics for that. And um, I will. you guys will see Jimmy Nets on Saturday. And Oh, also, I need you guys to comment because my 100th video uploaded, uploaded is coming up like around the corner. So you guys need to give me ideas for my 100th video uploaded and just comment about Random Thursdays and other stuff, whatever you guys want to do. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Xmolski, and I will see you.